Hi crafty friends, let's decoupage with thick paper. So what I'm doing is I'm cutting down this um, scrapbook paper that's super thick because I want it to be the size where I can send it through my printer. Oh, hello kitty cat. And I'm gonna print a saying on the front of this. And then what we're going to do is we are going to make the paper thinner so that we can decoupage it on to that little um, Dollar Tree wood slice. So I'm gonna take some um, box tape here. Oh my gosh, this little thing does not, <laughs> it does not work at all coming off the thing. And then I tried to rip it. <laughs> oh, that didn't work either. So good old scissors. So I'm gonna lay that down all over the top. For that size, it took me um, three strips to go across it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of these uh, little scraper things I got at Dollar Tree and really, really, really rub this tape into this um, thick cardstock or scrapbook paper, I guess it wouldn't be cardstock because we want to pull off the layers of that to thin out the paper. And this is such an easy way to do it. So I actually did it twice. I did this first. You can see I'm really pushing down on this. Um, if you didn't have one of these little tools, you could even use um, like a popsicle stick or something like that, a credit card, really, really making sure that it's on there. Um, and then we will just gently pull back each one of them and you can see, oh, there, hold on, I didn't see a little area coming off there. So I was like, oh, let me get that little area again. So um, you can see though, here in just a second, when I start to pull it back, you can see the fibers of the paper that are in there. And the neat thing about this is when I did it the second time, I got even more fibers because we just really, really want to thin out this paper so that it decoupages really well. So once I got that all done, then I was like, okay, this is kind of an odd shaped um, wood piece here from Dollar Tree. So I kind of laid it down and just did a rough cut. I traced it out and then cut it out. Um, and then I'm going to end up sanding those edges. So I think it'll all work out in the end. Um, and then I even sanded right over the top of the words that we printed on there because I want this to look more rustic, not so like we just printed on the paper. <laughs> um, but the paper is so thin now, which is super cool. Uh, so once I got all of that sanding done, I put a good coat of Mod Podge down over the top of this. Um, I didn't use the saran wrap on this, you guys, because I was worried this wood is kind of thin um, and I didn't want it to crack apart from the heat because I've had that happen with wood pieces before, wood slice pieces. So that's why I'm using the decoupage. So once I got that on there, then I went right over the top and added a coat and then I let that dry really good. And once that was dry, then I really started sanding those edges because on the front of this, you can see where the outside piece of the wood is. So I wanted that to really show. I grabbed out one of my ink pads and did just a little distressing around the edges and then sanded that again, just to kind of, um, it's there, but it's not. So here's how it turned out. Look how stinking cute this is. Oh my goodness, I love patriotic stuff. All right, friends, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to follow for more.